cosmic waves in a rhythmic beam that goes a thought in the human need. Minds in motion, exploring fine, filling the world thought by thought, one by one. Oh, be a human meme, yeah. Welcome to the Human Meme Podcast. I'm AI David Bowles, and along with our Crackbot AI research team, we will discuss this topic today. How Ancient Warfare Shaped Modern Medicine and Surgical Innovation We set out on a profound exploration of the paradoxical relationship between the grim realities of war and the remarkable strides in medical science. From the gruesome battlefields of ancient times to the technologically advanced conflicts of the modern era, we think about how warfare has been a catalyst for medical breakthroughs, shaping the very foundation of contemporary health care. We will traverse through history, examining how legendary physicians like Hippocrates and Galen laid the groundwork for modern surgery and orthopedics, influenced by their experiences with war injuries. We'll explore the medical innovations born from the necessities of the Civil War, World Wars, and beyond, leading to advanced treatments and technologies that continue to save lives today. Join us as we uncover the intricate links between conflict and care, and how these historical insights continue to influence and inspire the medical field. Digging into the ancient theaters of war, we find ourselves amidst a world where the art of healing was as pivotal as the art of warfare. The writings of physicians like Hippocrates and Galen are not just historical texts. They are windows into the early development of medical science, shaped significantly by the exigencies of war. In this segment, Let's explore how the brutal necessity of treating battlefield injuries in antiquity laid the groundwork for modern medicine, particularly in the realm of surgery and orthopedics. Hippocrates, often hailed as the father of medicine, lived in an era where warfare was a common aspect of life. His contributions to medicine were profound, and many of his observations were likely influenced by the injuries he saw in soldiers. Hippocrates developed techniques for treating fractures and dislocations, which were common battlefield injuries. His use of traction and splints to treat leg fractures, for example, is a direct precursor to orthopedic practices used in modern medicine. The Hippocratic Bench, an early form of the fracture table, was used to straighten and set bones demonstrating an advanced understanding of musculoskeletal anatomy. Hippocrates' emphasis on ethical medical practice encapsulated in the Hippocratic Oath remains a foundational pillar of modern medical ethics. His approach to treating soldiers was marked by a commitment to care for all, regardless of their side in a conflict, a principle that resonates deeply in contemporary medical humanitarianism. Galen, a physician in the Roman era. We find another colossal figure whose work was heavily influenced by his experiences with gladiators and soldiers. Galen's extensive work on anatomy, much of it derived from treating traumatic injuries, was pivotal. He developed an understanding of muscles, nerves, and blood vessels that informed surgical practices for centuries. His method of staunching bleeding using pressure points and ligatures directly informed the development of vascular surgery. One particular example of Galen's influence is his treatment of chest wounds. His observations and treatments laid the groundwork for thoracic surgery. Galen was among the first to differentiate between venous and arterial bleeding and to understand the importance of keeping wounds clean to prevent infection a principle that would become a cornerstone of surgical practice. These ancient physicians also contributed to the understanding of head injuries, a common and often fatal outcome of ancient warfare. Their examinations of skull fractures and brain injuries contributed to the early foundations of neurology and neurosurgery. However, 
It's crucial to recognize that while these contributions were significant, they were also limited by the scientific understanding of the time. For instance, the lack of knowledge about germs and sterilization meant that even the most skillfully treated wounds were susceptible to infection. Now let's examine the American Civil War, a conflict that, while rooted in tragedy, catalyzed the birth of modern emergency medicine. The sheer scale of injuries, gunshot wounds, amputations, infections, overwhelmed the existing medical system. It was during this time that the concept of triage was born, pioneered by surgeon Jonathan Letterman, who revolutionized the way soldiers were treated on the battlefield. Ambulance services and field hospitals emerged, setting the stage for emergency medicine as we know it today. Moving forward to World War I, an entirely new set of challenges emerged. The introduction of trench warfare and chemical weapons brought about unprecedented injuries. This was the era that saw the advent of antiseptics and the widespread use of anesthesia, specifically the use of ether and chloroform. Surgeons like Harold Gillies pioneered reconstructive surgery, particularly facial reconstruction, responding to the horrific facial injuries caused by trench warfare. Mustard gas and other chemical agents caused horrendous injuries. This led to the development of improved gas masks and, more broadly, advanced our understanding of respiratory therapy. The treatment of chemical burns also advanced significantly during this period, laying the groundwork for modern burn treatment and plastic surgery. In the realm of psychiatry, the concept of shell shock, now understood as a form of PTSD, emerged from the trenches of World War I. This led to a significant shift in how we perceive and treat mental health, especially concerning trauma. The evolution of psychological therapy and our growing understanding of mental health conditions can be traced back to these early observations on the battlefield. World War II further accelerated medical advancements. The mass production of penicillin discovered before the war saved countless lives from infection. Blood transfusion techniques were refined, and the concept of mobile army surgical hospitals, MASH units, was developed, drastically reducing the time between injury and treatment. In the wake of World War II, the world saw an upsurge in the understanding and treatment of psychological trauma. Post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, though not officially recognized until much later, became a focal point of psychiatric study due to the experiences of soldiers. This understanding has since evolved to benefit not just soldiers, but also civilians who experience traumatic events. World War II pushed the boundaries of medical logistics, the development of mobile field hospitals and the refinement of techniques like blood transfusions and mass immunizations were crucial. These advancements not only improved survival rates during the war, but also had lasting impacts on civilian emergency and preventive medicine. Advancements in antibiotics and antiviral treatments can also be traced back to the needs of war. The mass production of penicillin during World War II and the development of new antibiotics in subsequent years were directly influenced by the need to treat battlefield infections. The Korean and Vietnam Wars continued this trend of medical innovation. Helicopter evacuations became the norm, significantly reducing the time to get the wounded to medical care, a practice that's now common in civilian trauma care. These conflicts also saw advances in vascular surgery and the treatment of burns, reflecting the changing nature of warfare. The Korean War, often termed the Helicopter War, brought about a revolution in rapid medical evacuation. The use of helicopters as air ambulances significantly reduced casualty rates. This innovation laid the groundwork for civilian emergency medical services that utilize helicopters for rapid transport of trauma victims. Vietnam further advanced the field of emergency medicine. 
One notable development was the introduction of the MAST, military anti-shock trousers, designed to stabilize soldiers with lower body injuries and prevent shock. This technology eventually found its way into civilian emergency care. In more recent conflicts, the advent of improvised explosive devices, IEDs, led to an increased focus on treating severe blast injuries and amputations. This, in turn, spurred advancements in prosthetic technology and rehabilitative care, leading to more sophisticated and adaptive prosthetic limbs, benefiting not just soldiers, but anyone who has lost a limb. But what about the future? As we move into an era where the nature of warfare is changing, where infrastructure and AI become the new battlegrounds, what medical innovations might we expect? The focus may shift from treating physical injuries to addressing the psychological and cybernetic impacts of war. We might see advances in neurology and mental health care as we grapple with the psychological toll of cyber warfare and drone strikes. And as AI becomes more integrated into healthcare, we could witness a new era of precision medicine where treatments are tailored to the individual at a genetic level. In the realm of AI and robotics, the future of military medicine might include autonomous or remotely controlled surgical robots, allowing for precise surgical interventions on the battlefield without immediate risk to medical personnel. Additionally, AI could play a crucial role in diagnostic processes, analyzing data at unprecedented speeds to provide real-time decision support in critical situations. In the sphere of mental health, the growing awareness of the psychological impacts of warfare, especially with the advent of cyber warfare and AI, will necessitate advancements in psychological resilience training, therapy, and mental health support systems. The trajectory of medical advancements, driven by the harsh realities of warfare, is a powerful reminder of humanity's capacity for innovation in the face of adversity. It underscores the importance of transferring these advancements to civilian health care, ensuring that the lessons learned from conflict serve a greater purpose in enhancing and saving lives. As we conclude this episode of the Human Meme Podcast, we have crossed a millennia of pain and invention from the ancient battlefields where the foundations of medical science were laid to the modern theaters of war that have shaped the cutting edge of medical technology. Our exploration reveals a profound truth. In the heart of human conflict often lies the seed of our greatest advancements. From Hippocrates' pioneering methods in orthopedics to the life-saving surgical techniques refined in the crucibles of world wars, each era's strife has contributed to a legacy of healing and innovation. Our conversation is a poignant reminder of humanity's resilience and ingenuity, a testament to our relentless pursuit of knowledge and care, even in the darkest of times. In this intricate dance of destruction and creation, we find the essence of the human meme, the perpetual quest to transform adversity into a beacon of hope and progress for all humankind. Thank you for joining us today. I'm AI David Bowles wishing you a safe evening and a pleasant tomorrow. Be a human meme. Ah, hey, can you be a human meme? You know it's everybody's dream. Oh, just to be a human meme.